Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. Let's head back to the engine room. We're actually already in there, so let's just get a move on. Let's start with the Sea Slide Galaxy this time. One thing I do remember about the Sea Slide Galaxy is that the purple coin challenge is really fun because the coins are really spread out in the entire level and you don't have a timer. At least I don't think you have a timer, if I remember correctly. So yeah, that's one of my favorite stars to get in this level and I guess in the game. Of course you know my favorite star to get is the boulder guys. That's not even a competition. Star bits, grab them. I got one. Yes. So I think they're having a race in this one. I'm not sure. Use Z to slow down your shell. Oh yeah, didn't that guy become like a swim instructor? We've got a penguin race starting here soon. Want in? Sure. <laughs> Alright, this race is on! Wait, he said soon. What? Oh god, you guys. That was terrible! That was a terrible start. Oh my god, a terrible start. Come on, keep going! I gotta win this. Okay, so I'm in third place now. Holy crap, this eel thing. Holy shit, that scared me. Come on, I gotta get first place. I really hope that I don't drown. There's that would be. Put a frown! I was trying to rhyme, guys. Sorry. Oh god, I'm in last place. Actually, I'm in second place. But I'm gonna lose. I think. I really hope you don't lose a life if you lose this race. You probably will. That's just. That's just stupid. Oh my god, you guys. I'm in first place. I'm gonna do it. There's a boost right here. Ha! Ah, we're gonna get it! Where's the finish line? Do we just go, like, back to where we started? I really don't know. Oh, that thing is the finish line. Okay. So just cross this. Yay! I got somewhere around eight, eight seconds. I can't think of what I was trying to say. Brain fart. Okay. Eight seconds faster than the goal. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. That penguin has some wicked eyebrows. Look at those babies. Look at him. He's sexy. Sexy penguin. That's right, I'm talking about you. Alright. Well, that was quite an easy star. Well, I won't say easy. It was a moderate star. Faster than the speeding penguin. Was that the right star? Is that the one we were supposed to get? I hope I hope so. And a hungry Luma did appear! Right next to the engine room. Let's see how many star bits he needs. I hope it's a thousand or something. Cause we have 1468. That's not a hungry Luma. Stop it. Stop misleading me. Just stop it. So we're gonna go for a ride on this little thing right here. I don't know why, but this platform that we're standing on right now reminds me of when I was younger at McDonald's, they had um, Shadow the Hedgehog, the game, it was coming out soon. So they had like little mini game thingies that they give you. And one of them I had was like the soccer one. And you have to move him like left and right to dodge or not dodge the soccer balls, but to block the soccer balls. Like, the soccer balls would come at you and you'd have to... Kind of like, if you ever played Wii Fit, that soccer ball game where you have to headbutt the soccer balls and you have to lean side to side. It was like that, except it was on a tiny, tiny handheld, tiny screen. You just push the left and right button. And I got super good at it. I used to play the thing all the time. On the way to Cedar Point, that's all I used to do. Cedar Point is like three hours from my house. I live in Michigan. Cedar Point is in Ohio. I love Cedar Point. Go there every year. But he does need a thousand. Oh my god. Look at all his star bits. 
so fast. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's it. I'm stuffed. Here we go. Transform! I wonder what galaxy it's going to be. Sand Spiral Galaxy. You know, Sand Galaxies have not been my friend. I don't even remember what this is. So, let's find out. Choosing a favorite snack. Does it have food in it? Is it gonna be like that tasty or sweet galaxy or whatever? Oh, heck no! It is nothing like it! Oh my god, this looks like hell. What? Finding a snack? BS. Uh oh, a destroyed ship. Probably Bowser Jr.'s ship after we killed him. No, we didn't kill him. We just beat him. And then the magic Koopa goes all the way over there. That's right. Okay, so we're gonna want. Are we gonna want B Mario or Boo Mario? I'm gonna go for B Mario. Because there seems to be a lot of light in there. And if you hit the light, you. Um change back into regular Mario. But B Mario, if you get hurt, you change back. Oh my god, we gotta make it, make it. Oh my god, no! <laughs> Do you see him clinging to the wall? Help me! He said. Okay, we're gonna get this. We're gonna get it, you guys. Don't you even worry. Oh, great. Okay. So, what is the trick here? Trick of the game. Go to this side at the beginning. Start on the right side. Oh my god, go, 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 go. Alright. I hope you don't change back into regular Mario if you get hit with water while you're a boo. I know you do if- shit. Oh, I know you do if you are a bee. Oh, I remember this. I totally remember this place. I remember dying in it many times. God, there was another star right there. I should have gotten it. Oh! I made it! Well, nice! That was an adventure that I died a few times in. But you know what? Life has death. Without death, there would be no life. Actually, there would. But you know what I mean. Choosing a favorite snack. Sand Sprout Galaxy. Yeah. Caught a mid jump. Look at that, guys. We have zero stars. We can already go to the center of the universe. Isn't that something? Alright, let's go back up to the. Uh, what is it called? The engine room. The engine room is up above us. So there's the engine room, and then there's. Um, that place up there. I don't know what that is. I think I forgot what it's called. Hmm, where to today? Let's try the gold leaf galaxy. When it rains, it pours. I'm guessing we're gonna have to be a bee, and we're gonna have to avoid water. How did I know? I swear I'm psychic. Oh, this is the level that had the, um, the purple coin challenge. Yes, yes it is. Alright. I am gonna have to be a little little buzzy bee. I make the stupidest lyrics, guys. I'm sorry. And I love how they put this swim here. It doesn't even swing us in the direction of where... of where that thing is. So that's really helpful. 
And by really helpful, I mean not helpful at all. Oh my god, that scared me. Okay, you gotta be a bee to do that. That was close, guys. I could have died right there. What would you have done if I died? Oh my god, I would have... I don't even know what I would have done. I would have been dead. Alright. I have a feeling there's going to be something up here, so let's go check. Nope, just the piranha plant. Oh, there's that. That's how we get... There. We are going to have to fly over on this thing. Okay, it doesn't send us as far when you're a bee. Did you notice that? When you're regular Mario and you fly on that flower, it doesn't send- like, you go like really far. Uh oh, what am I gonna have to do here? Jump on these clouds, I'm guessing, and they're moving. Of course they'd be moving, that would be way too easy if they were stationary. Yeah, I killed him from behind. That's right, I got him from behind. You know what I mean. If you know what I mean. Hopefully you know what I mean. I know you know what I mean. I have a feeling I, have a feeling I don't need to go over here. Huh. But it did make it easier. Um, oh, nuggets. Okay, there's something there. I don't even need to get this bee suit because I already have a bee suit, so that was really pointless. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Okay, so it's over there. Watch out for those cloud things. Because if you don't watch out, you will turn back into regular Mario and that is not what we want at all. They just like spawn from right there. Okay, so... I have to wait here. We're gonna have to go up there. Oh no! That was really close. That was close as balls. And there's an arrow. So, we gotta go up, I'm guessing. Holy nuggets, that was... Wait, no. Oops. Uh, I don't get it. Oh, up here. I thought it... I thought we were supposed to land on a cloud or something of that sort. And then they shake it, they shake it, then they shake it, and then there's a little mole thing. Was this guy not a boss in Super Mario Sunshine? Like a little boss thingy. Watch out, so he can get you. Alright. Oh gosh, we're being time. There. Okay, I think we have to hit him like three times or something. Yep, three times. No. Oh god. Okay, well, I don't think we need- we really need to be Mario for this star. Well, for this part of the star. That's annoying. Honestly, if he really wanted to hurt us, why didn't he just shoot at us like that before? That's alright, you can't get us. He's like, oh no, oh no! You're on top of me! That's right. Look at all the debris. Tackle, 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 tackle. Should have gone to the other side. Let's see if I can just do this. And then go from here. Oh yeah, we can. We did it. We beat the mole guy. Does he have a name? I'm pretty sure it didn't say his name in the. Wait. Was that the right star? Okay, yeah, it was. When it rains, it pours. 
I thought mole guys were supposed to be underwater, since when do they construct their own mechan mechanical weapons and whatnot? Naughty, naughty moles! Alright guys, I'm gonna end this one right here. Thanks for watching Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. I'll see you next time.